In the circuit shown in figure 1 below, this one, and only for the DC power supply, this one and that one, 10 volts, determine both analytically and using circuit maker or multi-SIM the DC current in the base, this current here, and the voltage between the base, this one, and the collector here, this voltage. The transistor, is it in its linear saturation or cutoff mode? That is the question to answer. And then after that, we will tackle the question that is added at the end of this one. Well, let's proceed. In DC, of course, this AC source will be represented as a short circuit and the capacitor will be represented as an open circuit, like this. This is the circuit we need to solve. The first thing I'm going to do is replace the transistor with its large signal equivalent circuit, like so. Where the beta is given here, it's 150, so this uh, control current source value is 150 times IB, where IB is the base current. The collector is over here, the emitter, and the base. Let's solve that circuit. I use MNA for that. I'm only going to write the base current equation, which is 10 minus 0.7 divided by 300 kilos which is 31 microamps. Immediately we compute the current in the collector, this one, which is 150 times that, which is 4.65 milliamps. That is the current here in the collector. Let me draw that. That is this current. That current will produce a voltage drop in this um, 1 kilo ohm, and that voltage will be, of course, 1 kilo times 4.65 milliamps, that is 4.65 volts. What is the voltage at VC? Immediately you say, well, that is just 10 volts, minus 4.65, 5.35 volts. That is how high the collector is above the reference node. What about the voltage of the base? Well, the base is 0 0.7 volts above the reference which means that the voltage between the base and the collector would be 0 0.7 minus 5.35 uh, volts, which is evidently a ne very negative number, which means that the injunction base collector is off. Because the current in the base is positive, as we computed before, this is positive, and that signifies, and let me write it here, and that the base emitter junction is on. Those are the conditions for an active or linear mode of operation. And that answers most of the questions of this exercise. We have computed the current in the base, 31 microamps, and we have computed the voltage between the base and the collector, well, we would need to do the math here, right? Right. Now, complete the sentence. In IC, if the something is common between the input, the source that was here, let me bring it back to life, between this source and uh, the output load resistor that was somewhere near here, right? Right, so let me bring it back, even at the cost of erasing some of our computation, it doesn't matter at this point. And we say, well, uh, in AC, it's turn for eliminating the DC sources. We short circuit them. Like so, and like so. Hmm. In AC, also, this capacitor behaves like a short circuit, this way. And here we observe that what is common between the input source and uh, the output load through the reference node is the emitter. So this is a common emitter connection, and we write that in this zone emitter. That is what is common. And with that, we complete this question.